happy Father's Day, everyone. It was a sunny Father's Day there, but not <laughs> so much here. Oh, boy. You know, we set a once in 30 year record today. Rarely does it rain right an now. inch. And of course, the result is many of the rivers are running at or above flood stage. Now, Murray Park, it's tough to get that water under the bridge, but it was making it today. We had 800 cubic feet per second on Big Cottonwood and also on Little Cottonwood Canyon. And that's because of the heavy rain. The snow melt ceased, actually. It snowed 8 to 12 inches above 10,000 feet. And I uh, saw some of the pictures from up here in the high areas. This is Vortex right now. And as we put Vortex into motion, you can see this area around Grand Junction and also over towards Moab still getting some rain. And that rain is falling locally heavy at times. But along the Wasatch Front, the last remnants of these showers are petering out and moving away. So today, how much rain fell? Bountiful 1.02. Beaver. Stan Anderson says 4,200. Cedar City. Two thirds of an inch of rain in Cedar City. Ephraim, 1.15. These are, this doesn't ever happen during the month of June. And it did in Ephraim. So the Sam Pete and Severe Valleys had some very heavy rain for this time of the year. How about Magna? 2.11 inches of rain. Salt Lake City at the airport, the 1.11. Only the sixth time in June it has ever rained over one inch in one day. So we're in the 50s to the 40s tonight. There will be a very slight chance for a shower or thunder shower overnight. 62 by noon and 71 by uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow with Tuesday's temperature coming in more like 81. So we're going to be out of this storm and quickly moving into summer. And I mean very rapidly as this storm system wraps up. You can see the remnants right here, the back edge, the main storm now moving into parts of Colorado. And guess what it will do when it reaches out here into the plains? It looks like severe weather will break out once again. So the upper level low moving along eastward. There's the high pressure on the west coast. That's going to be our best friend. Uh, unless you don't like hot weather, it's going to be here and it's going to stay right on through Thursday. So the rain in eastern Utah for the next several hours, 56 in Ogden and Logan. Salt Lake is a chilly 54. It's 52 in Cedar City as the front moves eastward. The remnants of the showers, maybe a few of them south of the Great Salt Lake briefly in the morning on Monday because of the warm water of the Great Salt Lake and then this ridge of high pressure comes in. Might see one or two little wraparound showers on the far west side of the Uintas uh, early in the day on Monday and then basically high pressure Tuesday, meaning we will warm up significantly and getting even bigger. <laughs> this is a big ridge of high pressure. This is going to get a lot hotter. So a few of those showers tonight and lingering along the Colorado border, as I mentioned, might be an isolated thunder shower in the Uintas in the afternoon tomorrow. And that's because of the wraparound from the storm. 75 in Cedar City. You know, today you were 20 degrees cooler than you were yesterday. Yesterday, Cedar City, you were 83. Today, you were 63. Tomorrow, you'll be 75. Okay, so we'll split the difference. In the north, 69 in Logan, 70 in Brigham City. Uh, the computer ch charts, as I said, try to pop up a shower or two, but they will stay over the mountains. And then we'll be 71, still 14, 13 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Then we're up to 81. And then how about if we go to 85 degrees? That'll be for your, let's see, Tuesday. And then 90 on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to get hot, whether you like it or not. I think and people are ready. Yeah, yeah, hottest days of the year coming up after we have the all-time once in a 30-year rainstorm today. Quite, quite on, the Father's <laughs> on Father's Day. On Father's Day. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Some kind of